24 teams are now confirmed for the Oceania Rugby Sevens Championship in Honiara. That's 15 men's and nine women teams are confirmed as the official draws were revealed today at the National Stadium in Honiara. A total of 58 thrilling games played over two days. This uh, tournament will have an international global broadcast platform. Um, so we are really looking forward to showcasing uh, what we have here in, in Honiara the amazing facilities that you have at your disposal. And it will be a great, uh, a great occasion for us to share that to everyone over those two days of competition. Yes, as my colleague has alluded to, this will be the second biggest Oceania Sevens tournament that we've ever delivered, um, which is amazing uh, in, in, in terms of the interest and desire for teams to be here uh, in Honiara. Uh, we have 58 games played over two days, which are very, uh, very long days in terms of sevens, um, but makes for an exciting long days in which to witness international rugby here. The Oceania Sevens Championship has a clash with Cape Town Sevens and therefore New Zealand will not be included, but will feature Australia and Fiji's development teams. All the teams outside of the HSB Sevens uh, circuit, so i.e. Uh, Samoa, Tonga, uh, Kiribati, Solomon Islands, um, all the rest outside of the teams such as Australia and Fiji and New Zealand uh, will be sending their top teams. The Australian team obviously because of their top team being at Cape Town that particular weekend will be sending their development team. Uh, similarly Fiji. Japan are sending their top team uh, to, to the tournament which is, will be uh, interesting in terms of what they can um, what they can offer to the to, to the seven series. Uh, Japan has obviously been involved in previous uh, editions of the Oceania and that's obviously something that we're very keen perhaps to expand on a uh, format and which includes probably the top Asian teams and the Pacific teams um, for a combined event in the years to come. The stakes are high for teams competing in this year's tournament as the two highest ranked non-HSBC World 7 Series qualified men's teams and the highest ranked non-HSBC World 7s Rugby qualified women's team will secure spots in the World Rugby Challenger Series. Teams that have already qualified for the HSBC 7s World Series like Fiji and Australia for the men's and Fiji for the women's are not eligible for the Challenger Series, leaving the race wide open for other teams to rise up to the occasion and teams will start arriving in Honiara on the 2nd and competition will start on the 7th and 8th of next month.